USC 489. This is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at editing the course banner that you're going to find here inside your new Canvas course. So I've already imported the template and the new shell that I'm using is here on my dashboard. And so I click on its name to open it. And you can see here at the top that the course has this banner and it says course name and teacher's name. And so really we wanted, of course, to say your course's name and your name. And so we're going to go over here to files and you're going to find a folder here called artwork. And so when you click to open it, you'll find a PowerPoint and you'll know it's a PowerPoint because it says PPTX here at the end. And so when you click on the name of the PowerPoint, you're going to click up here in the top right corner to download it. And so when your file explorer pops up here, you can call this PowerPoint, whatever you want to call it. I would suggest putting it on your desktop so that you can find it easily to edit right now and so we're going to click to save and then if you're using Chrome of course your download pops up here in the bottom left corner if you're using a different browser or follow the steps for opening that file appropriately get that file opened and you'll move here to the second slide where the picture is actually a group of text boxes and images and shapes and things and so if you just click on the text box that has the course name teachers name you can go ahead and highlight all of that text and instead type the name of your course and your own name there. I have mine separated by a dash. Whatever works best for you is fine. Of course, if you don't like the font, if you triple click, you can pick a new font. You can resize it however large you want it to be as long as it fits within the banner itself. And so then just click off of the banner out here in the slide and then click on the banner again, right click on the banner again and choose to save as picture. So I've edited that text and now I need to save the image as a picture. Again, I might recommend putting it out on your desktop so you can find it quickly and easily. And so this is just Henderson canvas banner and I click to save and that way when I come back over here into canvas I can close the PowerPoint that I have open and I can click right here at the top to upload my new image and so I put it on my desktop and I called it Henderson canvas banner so I find it in my list of items and I click to open and it's going to upload it right here in your list of files and so then back over here on your home page in the top right corner you'll click to edit and you'll click on the image that's there and you'll just hit delete on your keyboard and then using the rich content editor with all the tools that are here across the top you'll click on the little down arrow next to the image icon and you'll go to course images and usually the one that you uploaded most recently is the first one shown and I know that it's this one not only because I see the word algebra here but because I see my last name and you'll want to look for the image with the name that you used. And so I click on that image and it's going to pop in over here on the page itself. And so I can close this add menu. If I click on the image, I can go to image options and really the size for these should be about a thousand. So type in a thousand there. It will lock in the other number and you can click done here at the bottom. And then one last thing here on the home page that you want to make sure you update is your teacher email address. And so you want to type your email address here and go ahead and highlight that and click on the down arrow next to the link icon and select external links. And you just need to copy the text and paste it in for the link and click done. And so now it is linked and you can scroll down here to the very bottom and click to save. And so now here on your home page, you have your new banner with your course name and your name listed. And then here at the bottom, you have a link for your own email. As always, if you have questions, or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.